Greetings everybody, my name is Dennis Fedorov and I'm a technical writer at Expand. And this is an introductory video to the series of how-to videos about our product, Expand Portal. In this video, I'm going to give you a general overview of the solution. I'll tell you what Expand Portal is, you'll learn about its structure, as well as major features and benefits. And then I'll show you a glimpse of every constituent element. Please note that, no that I'm not going to dig deep into the details in this video. The purpose is just to give you a general idea about the product and how it looks like. So what is Expand Portal? In today's world of business, it is crucial to have the possibility to provide the customers and partners with the near real-time access to operational and financial data. Expand Portal was designed to achieve this goal, allowing customers to monitor the status of their orders, to track invoicing activity, goods movement or any other kind of information. The portal enables you to share data with the world in a simple, secure and incredibly fast fashion, keeping everything tailored to the user and accessible from multiple platforms like personal computers, smartphones and other electronic devices. Let me give you a rundown of the key features of the portal. Everything on the portal is tailored to the user that is currently signed in. Firstly, this means that each user sees exactly what they need to or what they allow to according to the permissions of their role. And secondly, users may customize the user interface according to their preferences. Expand Portal is a very flexible solution. This is achieved by the ability to customize every aspect of the portal. You can expand the content that is available on the portal, you can change how the content is displayed, add or remove UI elements and so on. You can even create a separate website with its own content in addition to the portal, all in one platform. Data that you make available on the portal may come from various sources, such as ERP systems, CRM, or basically any system that can transfer data using web services. Expand Portal uses Lucene indexes as an industry standard in information retrieval. This technology is used by such companies as Facebook, Twitter, Apple, or even Microsoft, for example, inside the Azure search. Moreover, the portal benefits from the schema-less data structure. This model allows changing the schema of tables on the fly, without the need to recreate the table which would normally happen inside relational databases. Therefore, for example, adding a new field to the table on the portal will not disturb users currently working with the table. The rich user experience represents components of the user experience which make the work with the portal smooth and friendly. Nice, modern and familiar UI elements enable users to start working with the portal fast and efficient. The portal features full-text search that enables portal members to find exactly what they're looking for in a fast and efficient way. A full-text search that takes a second to complete for a million of records is not a dream anymore. To ensure safety, the communication on the portal is secured using certificates. The portal provides support for a multi-language interface if there is a need to localize it into multiple languages. The UI of the portal is responsive, which means it automatically adjusts to the device the portal is accessed from. The layout of controls is readjusted depending on whether you open the portal on a desktop, tablet or mobile. On top of everything listed here, if you want to expand the content available on the portal or customize the way it is presented, you can fully achieve this goal without any development involved. Know that this is just a tip of the iceberg, this solution is constantly evolving and lots of new features are planned to be added. In terms of its structure, Expand Portal can be broken down into three main tiers. The first tier is the source of data which is available on the portal. This data is stored in a NoSQL database. This database may receive data from various sources. For instance, an ERP system such as Microsoft Dynamics and AV, AX or SAP, a customer relationship management system, for example, Microsoft Dynamics CRM or Salesforce, or any other system that can send and receive data using web services. The second tier is CMS or Content Management System, which is based on the industry-leading open source Umbraco web solution. This is the place where you configure and customize everything on the portal front end. You create a customized portal pages as well as separate elements of those pages. You set up that default layout, add or remove functions, define roles and permissions, and so on. And the final third tier is the front end. This is what end users work with, 
and where they access data according to their settings and permissions. During communication between the portal, which is a combination of the data source, CMS and frontend, and an external system, data can be transferred in both directions, from the external system to the portal and from the portal to the system. And now without going into details, I'm going to show you how CMS and frontend of Expand Portal look like. We'll start with the front end of the portal. The first page that the portal members see after signing in is the dashboard, which is a home page of the portal front end. Everything that you see here, or any other page that I'm going to show you, is just an example of a portal configuration. This applies to all aspects of the portal, including the menu, pages, and elements of the dashboard. The whole portal may look different in your case in accordance with your business needs and preferences. As you can see, the dashboard may contain such elements as the tiles with various statistics, for example, the number of specific records or documents, the graphs, the look of which is also customizable and may be changed on the fly. Also, you may have some important information presented in the form of a list, which is tailored to this specific user, for example, the documents uploaded by this user, or timesheets and expenses, as in this case, or any other list view which is important for the user. The dashboard may also contain a header with customizable links. You can add links to an existing page on the portal or to, to any external website. The header also displays the name of the user that is currently sent in and the button to change the language. By the way, the portal page doesn't have to, be, doesn't have to only display data which is retrieved from the data source. They may show simple content with some text and images the dashboard displays the links to mostly used user statistical information, but if you want detailed information, you can navigate through other portal pages. These portal pages may contain such information as the various notions such as contact, contacts or documents, for example, sales and purchase documents, jobs, timesheets, or whatever it is you're using as your data source. The content may be, may be presented in the form of a list or in the form of a card. Some of the fields may be editable if it is allowed to do so for the current user. Depending on their permissions and settings, the portal users may organize information displayed on the portal pages. For example, they can set filters, rearrange columns, block or unblock columns like in Excel, group data and so on. They can also export information to Excel or save it as a PDF file, upload and download documents, modify certain field values where allowed, create and delete records directly on the front end and do other activities. These possibilities will be covered in other how-to videos about Expand Portal, so I'm not going to show them right now. The availability of pages, what they display, what functions the users have, and all other settings related to managing the front end of the portal are configured in CMS. So let's open it and see how it looks like. In CMS, the portal admin can customize everything what the users see in the front end. For instance, they can add, create or remove pages, change the layout of pages, add page elements, define what functions a specific group of portal members will have access to on every page. All of this is also configured per member group, allowing you to configure whether you want to restrict to certain data or function of a portal member depending on the permissions that this group has. The Content tab displays the settings for the content currently available on the portal. You can see the settings for the dashboard and all available pages. If you choose a specific page, you gain access to the corresponding settings depending on that page type. The Media tab contains the settings for the themes of the portal as well as all media, such as images that you can choose when you're customizing a portal page. Also, you can access administration-related and developer settings. And finally, you set up the users of CMS, 
and the members, that is the end users of the, of the portal. To learn more about CMS, how to customize the front end of the portal with it, please visit our social media channels to see our other expand portal how-to videos. That's all from me for now. You're welcome to check out our other how-to videos about expand portal to learn more about it, how to perform specific tasks and use various features both in CMS or in the front end. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.